Hey guys. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, depending on where they are, when is things going to get lifted? When are things going to get better? We know that tomorrow, at least, um, according to what we understand, the governor of Georgia is going to start lifting restrictions. We know that in the coming weeks, places like Texas, even Florida, and a few other states, several other states, 20 plus from what I understand, maybe even half of the country is going to start lifting restrictions. And that's obviously good news. You know, they're lifting some restricting restrictions, they're easing up on some guidelines, and that's good news. What's ironic about it is the timing. The timing seems to just that, or well, seems to indicate, not just, but indicate that even the doctors and the scientists and even some politicians know that basically warm weather helps decrease uh, this virus. It helps bring it down several notches. But yet, there are those in power, those in government, that have come out and said, we can't give you a specific date. Despite data, according to several parties across the board, showing certain states sort of in a certain state of, you know, recovery, that by a certain timeline or a certain date within the next month, they could start to ease up. For example, there's a map that shows all 50 states, and the lighter the color on your state, the better your chances are of returning to normal. For example, here in California, we're in what's known as a lime green kind of section, meaning, meaning, meaning basically that we could probably get back to normal by at least May 17th, or at least start lifting restrictions between the week of the 10th and the 17th of May. And that might sound great, but then again, it's up to the governor of the state. And even though Newsom has tried to make it clear that he can't give a specific date, well, let's just say he, along with many other governors, are not being seen in a bright light. I mean, right now, oh, probably as we speak or ongoing, people are protesting either in front of the Capitol or from home or from certain sections of the states, states that they live in, that they are sick and tired, they're getting restless, they want an answer. But here's the truth as to why we're not getting a straight answer, though. Why certain governors, like Newsom, Cuomo, and many others, are reluctant to lift restrictions, despite the fact that maybe the state is in sort of a, a state of basically being allowed to do so. Here's why. And you can call me a theorist. A conspiracy, you can call me a theorist, a theorist, if you will, conspiracy theory, whatever you want to call it. Here's why, excuse me, here's why basically we're not getting a clear answer just yet. Although I'm pretty sure as the weather gets warmer around certain states, like here in California, and that was a truck, uh, but I'm sure that. Uh, basically is, you know, the weather gets nicer and warmer around here in California and, other, and any other states around the country as we go into the summer, I'm sure we'll get an announcement sooner than later. Patience is the key. Patience, my friends, is the key. Although a lot of people are getting impatient as we speak. But with that said... But with that said, the question is, why aren't we getting a straight answer? And again, call me a conspiracist, call me a theorist, a theorist, if you will. But like a lot of people, I can kind of see a little bit of what's really going on. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I can kind of see what's happening. You see, what's happening, basically, is these governors that are not giving us straight answers from Newsom, Cuomo, those in Michigan and Ohio and all that, 
The reason I'm not giving us a straight answer and they're doing more talking than taking action as some people have blamed them blamed them for or called them out for uh, during the uh, press conferences or briefings. The reason they're not doing it and they're doing more of this instead of taking action is, like I said, some people are calling them out for is because, in a sense, what they're doing, is, and I think everybody would agree with this, what they're doing is they're laying the foundation for the presidential campaign. That's what it is. You see, they're going to lift the restrictions. They're going to start slowly doing it. But what they're doing as well is they're trying to slowly start a campaign. They're basically putting in the seeds, they're planting the seeds for the presidential campaign. I mean, if you notice the way they talk, it almost sounds like they're running for president. And here's the thing. When I was watching briefly some of Newsom's conference yesterday, people were commenting that they basically that they were getting tired of waiting. They want an answer. So I basically, in sarcastic jest, said, vote for him, for, vote for him as president. Watch what happens. And I got a ton of reactions, laughable reactions. I got, you know, reactions of thumbs up. I got reactions of anger. Basically, I think everybody that reacted in some shape or form basically acknowledges that, yeah, I bet if we did vote for Newsom as president, he would do something. Because basically, ladies and gentlemen, in the end, that is what this is all really about. That's why govern certain, several governors across the country that have yet to make the decisions to start lifting restrictions, even though they should, because, you know, those states might be in the clear. And even though our president has even said, hey, you know, these states that are holding back, hey, you seem to be okay to do it if you want, or you should be able to do it, and you should, even though our president has kind of encouraging the fact that yeah uh, Michigan Ohio you know you guys are kind of in the clear a little bit you could do this if you want to and he'd probably say the same thing about California maybe not so New York but you get the idea he'd say hey you kind of you guys are kind of getting ahead of the curve here you're kind of flattening it you're getting to that goal maybe you should do something about it maybe you should lift something maybe you should give these people something you know but what it is in the end, ladies and gentlemen, is nothing more than a presidential, it, it's nothing more, I should say, than these governors planting the seeds, laying the foundation for the future presidential campaigns. That's what it is. I know nobody wants to hear that, but that's the truth. That's what it is in the long, in the long run. It is basically these governors Despite the fact that they have yet to give us a straight answer in Pacific Date as to when our states are going to reopen, and I've got a feeling we're going to get those real soon because the weather's going to help that out. The truth is, deep down, this is nothing more. When you look at these briefings, these are nothing more, in just my opinion, than planting the seeds and laying the foundation for the future presidential campaigns in 2024. Now, you might think I'm looking too much into it, and that's fine, but the truth is, but the truth is, this is a, a lot of people say that, you know, the true center of this, the true center of this entire thing is political, to get Trump out of office and Pence out of office and all that. So you know what? Don't be surprised if maybe that's why these governors, like Newsom, Cuomo, and many others, have yet to give a straight answer because of the fact, deep down, what they're doing is they're planting the seed. They're planting the seed, they're laying down the foundation for the future presidential campaigns in 2024. Could I be wrong? I hope I am, but you know what? I don't think I am. But let me know what you guys think. I gotta get back into work. I've taken a little longer on break than I should, and I will talk to you later. God bless. Take care.